What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. This one is very special to me because this is the first time we're going to take the Micra to a track and try it out for real. But before we go ahead and do that, there's a couple of things we need to do and also we need to get the Micra inspected. So here we go. I've noticed a lot of noise from the rear right wheel bearing, so let's go ahead and replace that before we head on to the track. There actually wasn't any play in the wheel bearing, only a lot of noise, but uh, I wasn't taking any chances so I decided to replace it before the track day. Getting the brake drum off was actually the hardest part of this entire job, just because of that lip that's created, because the brake shoes doesn't actually ride all the way out, it doesn't come in contact with the entire surface of the brake drum, so a little rusty lip is created, making it very difficult to remove, and the adjustment screw was not accessible from uh, the outside. Now because of that lip on the inside of the brake drum, I really struggled getting it out. Uh, it actually was very stuck on there and the adjustment screw for the handbrake is not accessible if you don't take out uh, the brake drum. So unfortunately one of these uh, little retainers that holds down the spring for one of the brake shoes actually broke. Um, so I can't reuse that one, but fortunately one of the local stores here in town actually had uh, this hardware kit available, so I rushed there to buy it uh, with uh, like 10 minutes to spare before they closed. So uh, now I got this one, so uh, I can just replace that retainer and we will be all good to go. And even though I had little time to spare with the track day being tomorrow, I couldn't resist on scraping off the loose rust and giving the brake drum a quick coat of paint. Another thing I'd like to do is to adjust the panhard rod because I have noticed that the car sits a couple of millimeters off, so I'm just threading it in a couple of revolutions and we're all good to go. And after that, I think we're ready for the inspection, or at least we can try, so fingers crossed and I really hope it passed through. So are you guys interested in knowing how it went on the inspection? Well, it actually passed, except for one small little fault. A uh, broken light bulb, which was really clumsy of me not to check that. Uh, but uh, it won't need a re-inspection or anything like that, as long as I re replace that bulb in the headlights. Until next year, I'm perfectly fine. So it's road legal now for one more year, which is uh, definitely a relief because I've done a ton of work to this car. And I was, I was actually a bit worried that it wouldn't pass because I've done a couple of modification and such, so uh, definitely really nice that it's uh, road legal now and inspected for one more year. So uh, with that being done, let's just go ahead and pack everything that's needed for the track day. And I've actually made a list here on uh, things to uh, bring with me, just good things to um, bring along to a track day, I guess. So uh, if you guys are interested in uh, seeing this list or using it for yourself, just pause the video right here and you have a pretty good pack list for uh, when you're going to a track day. So uh, let's uh, bring this with us and head on to the track. Let's go. So there we go, everything is packed and I also added a couple of more things as we can see right here. So uh, yeah, everything is in the car right now. As we can see, there's a lot of stuff to bring, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, we're now ready to hit the track. So I will see you there. 
And after a one hour drive, we finally arrived at the track and with me I brought some friends and their really cool 205 GTI. After a couple of laps on the track, I pull it into the pit stops just to check over everything, uh, check the wheel nuts and just uh, the temperature of the motor. I have uh, like a laser temperature meter. Uh, everything checked out fine, no leaks, uh, no super hot temperatures or anything like that. The brakes actually holds up pretty good. Uh, I will see after some more laps, I will push it even harder, brake later. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, for uh, first impressions, uh, really good, except for actually the tires, because, uh, well, they are not a sticky compound by any means. Um, just a cheap uh, Nankan tires. It's supposed to be like a sporty compound, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I would uh, definitely like to try out some uh, real proper like uh, racing compound, some uh, sticky rubber. That would be uh, really fun to try out on this car. So uh, yeah, the one thing that's holding me back the most right now are the tires. But um, also that's a little bit of the fun, just so that you uh, don't feel like you have to push the car uh above your skills uh, so that you uh, pretty much have to take it somewhat slow and carefully so uh, but yeah uh, everything feels great so far so i'm just gonna go out for some more laps and hopefully i can improve my lap times as we can see i also went ahead and removed this sheet metal right here for some improved airflow to the engine now let me go ahead and show you some pov footage around the track performed really well and it did exactly what I was hoping for which is to have fun on a budget around the track. So it's now later in the evening and we're back at the garage. The track day went really good, the car held up great, uh, no issues at all really. What I can say is that uh, the front brakes got really hot. Uh, it wasn't an issue or anything, I didn't experience any brake fading or of any kind. Uh, but uh, when I measured the temperature, they did get very, very hot. So uh, it's uh, definitely not a bad idea to uh, make uh, some brake cooling, some ducting, uh, just so that you get some airflow to the wheel well and to the braking, to the brakes. Um, so yeah, that's uh, something I'll probably do in the near future. But uh, other than that, I am very, very happy with how it all went. The car felt great. Um, some stickier tire would definitely be fun. But um, yeah, the car was super fun, held up great. So I really can't be more happy than that. So uh, with that being said, that's it for this video, guys. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this one, even though it was a little bit of a shorter video. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, until next time, have a really good one. See you then. Bye.